What is up everyone? Welcome back to Base Damage and welcome back to Community Fridays. This week I got a deck that was posted a while back by Goth Mom in the Discord. Uh, she said this was a uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, well, it was it was, so, it was from someone else from the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, it wasn't hers to begin with, but she wanted to post it. So shout outs to whoever's deck this actually is. But Goth Mom posted it in here for you. It's Bakuretsu Thunder. Uh, mainly focusing on Megamin and Union, it looks like, with a very interesting climax spread of just double, uh, double crit triggers all the way. So it makes it like they are really pushing for damage for this one. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm definitely very, very curious. So all of these, I, I want to take a look at the climaxes first, mainly because the double crit triggers. I don't know if they all have the same overarching effect so real explosion magic is choose a red card in waiting room put it to stock everyone gets plus one soul uh clap of thunder red card from waiting room uh put it to stock all characters get plus one soul and repeat process for an explosion a day and that's megamin there i thought that was union at first i was like oh wait that is that is megamin uh so okay so everything is all the all the climaxes are the exact same, uh, but we do have some cards in here. Like we don't have the climax combo for the Aqua, uh, but let's let's go, let's get it. Uh, Megamin three two ten k. When this is placed on stage from your hand, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card amongst them, put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. So you can dig for the climax. Uh, the first one we showed, real explosion magic. At the beginning of your attack... Oh, that's this one. At the beginning of your attack phase, if a, if Real Explosion Magic is in your Climax area and this card is standing, pay one stock. If you do deal four damage to your opponent, choose a level three or lower character facing this card, put it into your opponent's clock, and rest this card. This is the, like, crazy expensive Mega Man from back in the day. I think this was, like, set one. I think this was, like, set one Mega Man. So I, I started reading it. I was like, oh, that's this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is just really, really strong. This is good. This is definitely good to run. I'm surprised this isn't like more copies of this in the deck, but maybe this. I'm assuming this is the Union one, so maybe it has a better overall effect. You got two different finishers basically. Today's Explosion Magic. This is off of an Uncommon, which is actually kind of crazy. Oh, actually, this first effect's nice. A uh, three, two, ten k. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, choose up to one, an explosion a day in your waiting room, return it to your hand, and she gets a thousand power till end of turn. So you're guaranteed going to get the climax combo off on that. That's really cool. Uh, it's, it's for free. You don't have to pay a stock or anything. I get, it's because you're only grabbing the one, uh, the one name card. So it says, at the beginning of your attack phase, if this card is standing on your center stage, you may pay the cost, which is put all cards in your hand and stock into your waiting room and sack the Climax, which the Climax also adds a stock, so let's count that in for this. If eight or more cards were put into your waiting room by this ability's cost. Okay, so that, that does count both your hand and your stock, which is interesting. So as long as you send a total of eight, which the Climax goes towards one of those. Put all of your opponent's level 3 or lower characters into his or her waiting room. Your opponent puts all cards in their deck into his or her waiting room. Deal X damage to your opponent and rest this card. X is equal to the, the number of today's explosion magic in your level. <laughs> I guess you're only pulling the effect off once, so all other copies of her you can just put into the level. Oh, that's... That's broke. I love I love that. It's on a fucking uncommon. You ne I never hear people talk about this. That is actually fucking hilarious. I love that. All right, so continuing along, speaking of expensive cards, we go we go from one of like the fucking most expensive cards from set 1 to just a, a uncommon I think from like the second set maybe. I don't remember. It just just <laughs> Balls expensive, cheap as fuck, but funnier. You know, I, I, you gotta love the duality. Then going right back to the expensive shit here. Three, two, nine k, mesmerizing water goddess Aqua. If the number of adventure goddess Axis Church is four or more, minus the level in hand. During your turn, if all of your characters are are adventure goddess Axis, uh, this gets two k power, so she'll be eleven. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pitch a card to heal the top card of your clock to your stock. She's 
expensive for a reason uh then one just one copy oh it's because of the second effect yeah this is the aqua from the first set this is from the second one i think uh three two ten k during this card's battle your opponent can't play backup from hand uh, we're not going to talk about the third effect, but the second effect is the main thing. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay one stock. If you do, your opponent chooses two climaxes in their waiting room and returns all other cards in their waiting room except those two back into their deck. So forcing them to uh, decompress it is just very nice. So uh, the second one, the last effect just has to do with the climax combo. They don't run. Uh, four copies of Signature Statement Union. I, I love Union. She is just so, so adorable. So 217k. If you have four or more Adventure or Magic, this gets minus a level in your hand. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may sack the Clap of Thunder Climax, which is still, uh, the once again, red stock from Waiting Room, uh, and everybody gets a soul. Which, even after you sack it, I I in case this wasn't the last attack, for the uh, for the combo, uh, they would still retain the plus one soul. I do know that that's how that works. So even if you sa like if you sack a one k one, they lose the buff. But the ones that distribute soul like these like those climaxes, uh, everyone keeps the soul. When the battle opponent becomes reversed, you can sack it if you do look up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to four adventure or magic characters from amongst them. Reveal them reveal them to your opponent. Put them into your hand. Put the rest into waiting room. Uh, yeah, so you just you're hoping to just reveal like four fucking adventure or magic characters and just be like, cool. I just add back four cards to hand. That that's great. I love that. <laughs> two copies of Fear of Dolls. This is a level two brainstormer. I think this was also first set. I could be wrong. Um, two one five k. When another of your characters becomes reversed in battle, choose one of your magic characters, specifically magic, uh, and that character gets plus three k power until end of turn. So, uh, someone like. Oh, no, no, so Kazuma does have magic. I'm trying to think of... Maybe Darkness doesn't have magic, but she still has, like, Adventurer trait? I don't remember. Um, but, so, regardless, it looks like everything in the deck is going to have that. Ah, uh, I guess, should we check? Aqua does not have magic. Okay, so that has Adventurer Goddess. So, she you can't buff the Aqua cards, but it doesn't fucking matter. You're, you're trying to buff your other stuff. Uh, like, like, say, trying to buff maybe the Union or something. Uh, Brainstorm, pay one, tap two characters... Reveal four. Oh, it, it's a it's a uh, damaging one. Mill four for each climax revealed. Burn your opponent for that much. So that's cool. Uh, then we have so then getting to the level ones coming with gifts. Union one zero six five. So it isn't oversized. And just that that face of shock is just hilarious. When this is placed on stage from hand, choose a character on your opponent's center stage. That character gets plus three k power till end of turn. So you do have to choose wisely. Uh, just saying. Uh, then when a card named Chomp Chomp Megumin, which I think is a level zero? Yeah, it's this one right here. Uh, when this one in particular. Oh, no, no, uh, there is... Okay, so this is both of them. They do run a play set. Uh, it's just one's a higher rarity. So we'll get back to that in a second. When a card named Chomp Chomp Megumin is put into your waiting room from the stage, if this card is in your waiting room, you can... Uh, you can discard a card to uh, put this card on any position of your stage as rested. Okay, so we got like a, a what was it called? The Ren Ruin Engine, kind of? N not exactly. Oh, so if you summon it with this effect, you don't get the drawback of the plus 3k power. Okay, okay. Because this is when it's placed on stage from hand. Uh, but if it gets summoned by its own effect from the waiting room, you dodge that. That's actually kind of cool. I haven't really seen an effect like that in a long fucking time in terms of... Konosuba's always just doing, like, original shit. Let's, uh, I say original, but always, like, doing interesting stuff. Uh, Shaken Megamine, which this is very interesting because there's not many level 1s that have anti-change. This is a 1k backup, but when you use the backup, you can pitch any two cards. Choose one of your opponent's characters with a level higher than their level and put it into their waiting room. The level 1 anti-change backups are, are rare, I can name I can think of like three or four off the top of my head, but that's across a lot of different sets. So really good to see that. That is it for the one. So now we get to the zeros. I think this is the only like double in terms of like a. It's all this is the same card, just higher rarity. I think everything else is different. So two copies of Kazuma. It's a zero zero one k. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay one, discard a card, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, choose one card amongst them. 
punch your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. So because this does check, uh, you get to add a card. Once again, you can grab the climaxes that you need, which is really nice. Uh, two copies of Reason to Turn Down Mega Man. This is 0025. Turn down for what? Anyway, when this is placed on stage in your hand, pay one pitch, one search your deck for an adventure of magic. So just good drop searcher for the set altogether. Is that a, it's, a, it's a trial deck card as well. So that's probably hard as fuck to get. Uh, sightseeing in the Crimson Demon Village Mega Man. This is 002K. When this is placed on stage from your hand, you may pay the cost, which is uh, put an adventure of magic from your hand to clock. If you do look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one card amongst them, put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. I'm seeing the theme here where it, it, there's a lot of just add a card to hand. There's like three different cards that have shown that already uh, in terms of making certain you can dig and try to get the climaxes when you need them. So uh, even though I don't think I, I could be wrong, I don't remember the last couple of effects here. I don't think there's any like climax swappers. Uh, in this deck, there might still be some in Konosuba. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, one copy of that. Four copies of Ambush Union. I, I could be wrong, and there might still be in here, but I'm just trying to remember based off the pictures, and I don't think so. Uh, 0015, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you can pay one, put the top card of your clock or your deck into your clock. If you do, search your deck for one card named Megamin, which because it's specifically named Megamin, I uh, reveal it, put it into your hand. It's specifically this level three. So just stating that. So four copies of that. And it has a resonate with that uh, Mega Min as well. Uh, an act to pay one, show the Mega Min, rest this card, look up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one adventure or magic from amongst them, add it to your hand, put the rest of the waiting room. So, which to be fair, that also lets you like toss a whole bunch of extra cards into the waiting room uh, to potentially maybe mill out uh, the climaxes that you need, say, for this one when it gets played. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, four copies total of Chomp Chomp Mega Man. Uh, when this is placed on stage from your hand, choose one of your other Adventure Magic characters. It gets a thousand power to end of turn. And when this card becomes reversed in battle, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level two or higher, put it into your hand. So, you get to potentially get a little bit of advantage off of this. Then it dies, and you get to summon back the level 1, which is really... Oh, oh, true. So you get to add that to your hand, which then could be discarded to summon the Mega Min, which is... Uh, the, the Union, I should say. Pretty cool there. Uh, also, so this was a higher rarity. It's a SR for the Chomp Chomp. Really cool. Uh, <laughs> God, this is, this is a fucking Rule 34 picture if I've ever seen one. So, 0015, covered in snot aqua. When this becomes reversed in battle, put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room. If there's a level two or higher card among those cards, you may put this card into your stock. Very interesting. A lot of the level two or higher effects, so let's... I, I want to do a quick count real quick. There's no events, so you're looking at six, seven, ten... You're looking at 17 level two and higher cards. Pretty decent chances. I mean, could be better, but still pretty decent chances. Uh, Adventure about to begin. Aqua is a 001k. 500 assist in front, and you get to tap it to give one of your Adventure Goddess characters plus 1,000 power till end of turn. Uh, being able to buff the... Uh, the I almost keep calling her fucking Mega Meme for some reason. The Union right here to make certain that it can reverse is probably a big thing, especially because you can play her at level 1. Uh, but you know, in that point, she should get over a lot of stuff. But if you play her at level 2, she needs buffing, so... And lastly, we have three copies of Soul Salvation Aqua. When this is placed on stage from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's Adventure, Goddess, or Axe Church, uh, you get to put it into your hand and then discard a card. So some hand filtering. And when this is placed on the stage from your hand, you may pay two stock. If you do, return all cards from your waiting room to your deck and shuffle your deck. This is just very interesting utility. Konosuba always had very interesting utility cards that you're just like... Like, you've seen the effects other in other places, but it's either combined... It, it's either on a card that, like, nobody would expect, or it's combined with another good effect. It's just really crazy. Anyway. Uh, and then we did the two of the level three that burns and clock shoots. Two of the nuke your opponent's entire fucking board. And then four of the union. Okay, so... And that is it for the deck. Uh, big shout outs once again to Gothmom for posting this in the Discord. Uh, if you want to post your own and possibly see it on a video in the future, uh, please feel free to join our Discord. The link will be in the description and look for the decklist submissions tab. 
and like I said, drop it in there. Preferably English and preferably on deck log because I can show the card off way easier like this. I can show it off really easy like this and just read it off verbatim so there, there's no confusion as to what the card does, you know, type thing. Uh, but if you can, if you want to, cool. If not, you know, post it however you want and we'll, we'll work with it, you know. Uh, but yeah, that'll do. And I thank you all very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If not, hey, thanks for stopping by to check out uh, a very interesting uh, blessing on this world. And we will see you all on the flip side. Peace out for now.